<laughs> now let's talk about security. Yeah. Um, one really cool thing about this podcast is we can kind of dive in a little bit and talk about keeping your data safe. Um, one thing that gets a lot of people is phishing. Mm-hmm. So if you heard of phishing before, it's where there's um, a clickbait link that looks really enticing. You click it, and then yep. you get some malware on your computer. Man, now, this we happens. Have tons of phishing scams going through our emails at work right now. Oh, I, was I just must about get to three say. or four a day. Like it's and bad. People click on them. It's so funny. Mm-hmm. You know, people will just think, "Wow, you know, this must be from the boss," or it'll say like quarterly yeah. financials, and you'll click on well, it. It looks like it's from the boss. It literally had my boss's name, and it showed up in Outlook as it was from my boss, and it said, "Really, uh, please review and approve this invoice. That sounds like an inside job, Matt. Do you think it could be a disgruntled worker or maybe you? <laughs> well, yeah, maybe me. What I think it's doing is somehow if, if somebody clicks on it, I think what it does is it accesses our address book. And then, because I, like the ones I get, I must have gotten it from 50 different people in our office throughout Alberta, and they're people that I know, and even people who haven't been with the company for over a year. So I think it's somehow going through our address book and then spoofing and phishing. That's amazing. It sounds like someone's putting work into that. And if that's automated, good for them. They deserve it because that is... <laughs> <laughs> they're crooks then. <laughs> but they're wise. Maybe they're using artificial intelligence for it. Now, I wanted to talk a little bit about what's going on with phishing sites. Now, two years ago, when you were on the internet um, and you were going and you were going to click a site, a Chrome would automatically be like, this is a bad site. Don't come here. You'd see this big, you know, red X or bad site, bad phishing site. And what a lot of people do to make sure that the site is safe is they look in the upper left-hand corner where the URL is, then they look for the safety padlock. And now this article that I read said that 49%, so almost half of the phishing sites in 2018 now have that padlock. Of course they do. So let's talk about the difference uh, about what a padlock is. Padlock means that the website has a secure socket. And that means that when you're um, talking to the website, both you and the website are secure and hopefully no one's listening in on you. Um, What is this good for if you're at like a Starbucks and you're connected to your bank? Um, you know, it's going to be encrypted between you and the bank and people trying to read any of the packets that are floating through the air um, will have a really difficult time because it's encrypted. And so uh, Google made a big push just this July of 2018 and said, all the websites need to have this secure lock or else we're going to push you down in the web searches and we're going to bury you and people aren't going to find you because they really wanted it to be secure for, you know, public Wi-Fi or just even if people had somehow hacked into your router. And uh, what's going on now though, is people are misreading it and they're thinking because they see the security padlock, that it means that it's 100% safe, there's nothing wrong with it. And while it might be encrypting the message between you and the website, that doesn't mean that the website isn't bad. And uh, so what's happening is people are going on these secure websites and they're downloading a malware from mm-hmm. from the phishing site. So I thought that was really interesting. And that's a jump up from 25% just a year ago of websites that now have the uh, the padlock on it. So that's just a warning to you guys. If you see that padlock, that doesn't mean you're totally secure. It just means that uh, the connection between you and the host is, is secure, but the Your host might be bad. To the thief and the crook is secure. Exactly. <laughs> You see, they're getting smart. I bet you the same people behind this or behind whoever found out your boss's name and is sending out uh, phishing emails. Oh, yeah. 